Well, <clears throat> um, just being a little cautious, um, you know, with Marco, um, Dickie pitched yesterday. Uh, you got a young guy in Sanchez that, you know, you're not going to extend him. So uh, it was one of those situations where we just didn't want to send no one. You know, and Marco, you know, he's battling, um, you know, some tightness in his back and he's pitching tomorrow. So, you know, we, we need him tomorrow at full strength. So uh, we made the decision to, um, you know, go with Barney and Goins and, you know, Schultz as far as we can. We extended Chavez. We extended Storm. I mean, when you start extending too many pitchers, it's going to bite you, you know, down the line, and, you know, whether it's the, um, the next two games or Kansas City when they come in. So, you know, it's a tough loss, you know. Guys battled their butts off. Um, you know, you, you got to look at, you know, the effort that both teams put in, really, you know. Um, and, you know, I, I tip my hat to those guys in that locker room. They battled their butt off. No, I mean, we, we, we talked about that. Um, you know, there was a lot going on, and, um, you know, we just decided against it. I, I, I think, you know, you can look at it. You know, you may lose this battle, but, you know, you still want to be able to put yourself in position to win the war. Next question. Could you just comment on what you thought about uh, the number of ejections and the umpiring that you saw today? Well, I mean, it was an emotional game. Um, and, you know, you guys, you know, saw the game. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to get into comment. Um, my job was to, uh, you know, manage the players that was there, but it was an emotional game. And, you know, there was some that was, you know, disagreed, you know, and I'm going to leave it at that, you know, but it is an emotional game. and. You know, that's what I like about this team. You know, they play with a little fire. And, you know, I think, um, you know, when you look at it, we got each other backs, you know, and, and, and Gibby has been that way um, since he's been here. So, um, you know, I, I'm taking the high road and saying that, you know, that's part of the game, you know, but there was some emotional uh, uh, plays and there was some disagreements, you know, on both sides, you know, and, and the emotions came out. Marlo, sorry if you commented on this earlier, but uh, Bo grabbed that his hip. It looked like uh, there is there anything any concern that that's something more significant? No, I mean there there was a number of guys who um, talked about cramps. Um, you know, it was a long day. Uh, you know, humid. Uh, the roof was closed because of the weather outside. Um, I mean, we had a few guys that that, were, that was cramping up. So I mean, it was getting to a point. You know that, you know. We were running out of options, you know, and I we'll talked to Bo, you know, he said he felt okay, you know, he went back out. Like I said, we extended um, those guys quite a bit, and you just got to get to a point that you can't extend everyone, you know, and, you know, he came out and, you know, he said he felt okay. So, uh, you know, you need a couple of days off, but, you know, we'll deal with that uh, later on. Uh, long forgotten, uh, but uh, Marcus Stroman really seemed to take a step forward. What, what did you think uh, were his key points of progress today? Well, I, I, I thought he threw the ball well, and you know he showed um, the breaking ball that um, had some swing and miss to it. Um, you know he, he had the sink working as early in the game. He had quite a few ground balls. Um, you know. When you go 19 innings, I believe, you know, one run, two runs, you know, you, you, can, you can look at that pitcher's mound and say, you know what, those guys have done a very, very good job. And, um, you know, Strowman, I, I thought he made some adjustments and uh, with his breaking ball and, and, and pounding the zone and, and threw the ball very well. Anything further? DeMarlo, are you going to be able to get by through tomorrow with the bullpen you have now, or, or is it possible you may have to bring up some fresh arms? Well, that's something that uh, I'm sure we're going to talk about it um, here within the next hour, you know, just after the game. I think a lot of people are just, you know, 
gathering their thoughts and, you know, seeing where the aches and pains and, <laughs> you know, the, the cramps. And I'm sure that we'll sit down here in the next hour and talk about some things once we get some assessments from uh, um, the training staff. So, you know, I mean, there are some guys who extended themselves, no doubt. And, you know, we got to look at that. Um, some of the pressure falls on the starting pitcher tomorrow, but we have to, you know, cover ourselves um, even on that end. You know, uh, uh, hell of a game. You know, hate to lose with all that, um, you know, these guys grinding in battle. But, you know, now we got to assess and, and see where we are for the next couple of days and, and for the next series as well. Thank you, DeMarlo.